you. Um, I remember being 15 and thinking, oh, what am I going to look like when I'm 25? And uh, <laughs> here I am, so. <laughs> no. um, I'm constantly reminded of how uh, young I look, uh, partly because I stand in for child actors. We can laugh, we can laugh, it's okay. It's not a joke, but we can laugh. Uh, basically, I stand there for lighting and blocking purposes while a 10-year-old boy jumps a Yahoo in his trailer. So, that's that. Um, I was on my way home from work the other day, and I'm getting on the bus, and the door's open, and the bus driver literally looks down at me and goes, running away from home? <laughs> Just because I look 16 and have a rolly bag, all right, I don't get why we're jumping to conclusions. <sighs> uh, switching gears here, uh, since I'm legal, I can date now. That's a thing I can do. Yeah. Um, is anyone here in, in an official relationship on Facebook or in life? <laughs> anyone know? We're all in the, like, I don't know what the fuck is happening. That's what it is now. Um, I think, you know, we, you hear women say all the time, dating is so hard. Um, what we mean by that is fucking is so confusing. <laughs> it's like, because we have reversed the dating cycle. That's the problem now. 50 years ago, you used to date a lot of people, but you only had sex with one. Now you have sex with a lot of people, but you only go out for a meal in public with that really special... <laughs> Look, we're getting our salads tossed before we order them. That's not how it's supposed to happen. I, I wouldn't order salad on date, guys. Come on. I have this glass. It's, I don't, it's, if a guy I was hooking up with said he banged another chick, I'd be like, sweet. Wait, you took her to the MoMA Museum? You're a fucking asshole. It's so bad. Like, and it, It's to the point where it just lowers the bar for romance. So if a guy were to give me flowers, I think you're a rapist. I think you're a rapist. I'm uncomfortable. The chivalry, what is this? Um, you have to be careful though with casual sex. You know, the, this happened. Uh, a guy I liked told me he had an STD. Sucks. He was like, look, I should tell you, I'm actually Republican. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's 2013. If you're telling girls that you voted for Mitt Romney, you might as well say you raging syphilis. <laughs> the only difference is that a condom can't protect you from a Republican. That's it. That's it. No, there are, this is true, the two most common STDs for women are HPV and emotions. <laughs> And, uh, oh, fun fact, men don't get side effects of either, so, so fair. That's great. <laughs> We're in like science class. I'm like, can anybody, uh... All right, I'll tell you. It is the chemical that's released after we have sex called the attachment molecule. Basically, men get a tiny bit and then women get a shit ton. So that's uh, why things work out really well. Um, and it's, 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 I think it's what, it's what makes us crazy. Like, I'm doing a thing, trying to be an independent woman. All the things Beyonce tells me to do. <laughs> But we hook up and then like three or four times all of a sudden I'm pinched around as holding hands in CVS. I'm like, what the f rate it in, Katie? Where is this coming from? That's oxytocin. Uh, my thing, ladies, if you're with me. What was that? Okay. Uh, we can think crazy. That's the, we all think crazy. The difference is just don't act it, right? So I think, I'm gonna say that again, because some of the guys are like, that's not true, my girl's chill. No, she's fucking crazy, she just knows how to rein it in. <laughs> you know, texting is something that I think makes us all crazy. Me in particular. Um, it just gives me so much anxiety. Because, you know, people, people are like, getting on stage in front of strangers, that's my biggest fear. I'm like, really? My biggest fear is saying, hey, what are you doing tonight to a guy that I like? Yeah. Every time I, I text a guy that I care about, I feel like I'm handing him the keys to my self-esteem. <laughs> you can 
careful with this, all right? Because this just came back from the shop, all right? Some asshole ran into it about a month ago and just drove away. Uh, and he rear-ended me too, so it was just a mess. <laughs> so we're into butt stuff, okay, cool. Uh, no, the, the one thing, I, the iPhones kill me. Um, I don't like that you can see someone typing. Makes me anxious. <laughs> because it, it puts so much pressure on the text. Like, you can't, you can't edit anything. Because I feel like the person standing there with a stopwatch like, wow, you're working really hard on that. You must really like me. <laughs> or, if you see someone typing for, for two minutes and they say, sounds good, I'm like, you, you went through some shit to get there. I want to know what's happening. Who's that? Uh, the la my last uh, pet peeve with, with the iPhone is, it's that, like, when you start typing and then you see that they're typing and it's this digital awkwardness that you can't see but you can feel it. You know? You can feel it. And the problem is you don't, you know, you're typing, you see that there's typing, you don't want to lose what you've written, so you have to select, and then hit copy, and then it doesn't let you to reselect, and then hit cut, and then they've stopped typing, and what if they were going to say, hey, Katie, you're the love of my life, you're the person that I want to be with, but you took too long to reselect, and now you're going to die alone. <laughs> That's what's happening. Uh, my last thing, uh, don't take your red receipts off. That's, that's, yeah, if anyone here has their red receipts on, you know what it says when you read a message? Oh, on your uh, what, yeah, Why is that a technology? That <laughs> fuck, fuck that iPhone. Like, they might as well, they should call them ignored receipts, am I right? Okay. Um, take them off. That's all. Uh, you guys have been awesome. I'm Katie Howler. Enjoy the rest of